All right, so for our Sprite race engine, we've been dealing with an issue with our roller rocker set. Um, problem is our roller bearings came apart after barely more than a couple of dyno runs uh, when we, since we installed this new shaft. So we tried to get another one, but it had an issue with one of the rollers and it was an older style. We couldn't make it fit our valve cover. And so I decided to source good quality bearings. These used to come with Torrington bearings. Uh, I looked up that number, found them again. Turns out the company's been bought up by Koyo, so they're now Koyo Torrington bearings. But anyway, we devised a way to knock these old ones out gently. And we'll try to show here quickly uh, a little method we found. There are little oil holes in between these two sets of roller bearings in here. We can fit a little flat punch on the lip on one side then the other. Start that bearing downward, then we just use a 5 16 countersunk grade 8 screw here that's got a nice sharp edge that fits nicely inside our bearing. Get it under the race where we've pulled it down a bit and just gently knock it out the other side. You can see how the, sh the rocker shaft is built. A little ledge in the middle, a couple of oiling holes uh, for the ball tip here and for the roller tip here. So these are the problem. These are basically, they have the right number, but I cannot see any identifying mark. These are no name bearings and they may cost less than the good quality ones, but the results are much less than desirable. So we got good bearings. I've got another set here. Let me show quickly, relatively straightforward process of putting these in. I made a small punch little brass dowel that's the same size as the ID here. Chamfered a little bit so it doesn't bite it. We get our brand new bearing, verifying the direction of installation here in our magnifying lens. And I made this little deal using an extension so that I can put a direct impact onto the bearing with something as simple as a rubber mallet. So this way I'm not guessing on uh, hitting the side of it here, but basically with just a little bit of a support underneath it, you can see this is just an old bearing race that lets the center go down. I can relatively gently, again, rubber mallet here, we're, we're trying to be very easy on these bearings. And just like that, the installation of the new roller. So again, I'm checking these each time, making sure all these rollers turn because what happened with these old ones is the, the roller tips have a little point that's supposed to keep them inside the race. That came apart. When one of those broke, everything twisted up and the rest of them crumbled. So these bearings are a much better quality. Hopefully this shaft is now the way it should have been produced for your thousand bucks when you buy one. Thank you very much. But uh, this ought to work. Anyway, we'll make some progress. We'll get the shaft installed, head torqued, and we'll be on our way to test running our engine finally. Thank you.